Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to be doing um, more punable.tw and the ORW challenge. So, it says read the flag from this directory, and you're only allowed to use the open, read, and write syscalls. And then it gives you the binary. So it sounds like all you have to do is um, use three syscalls to open the file, read the contents, and write them to standard output or whatever. So, um, I already downloaded the binary, and let's see what it does. It says, give me your shellcode, and just seg vaults. Okay, so what we want to do is we're just going to reverse engineer this a little bit and see what it does. Although it's pretty obvious, but it's always a good idea to check it out. So, R2... Now you can see we're at the starting point of the main function. And then we can do uh, capital V, capital V to see the, the flow chart kind of thing. All right, and you can ignore most of this. Um, what we're interested in is, uh, you can see this comment here, give me your shellcode. They push the string, give me your shellcode onto the stack. Then they call printf, so it prints give me your shellcode. Um, then it uh, reads your input, which would uh, be the shellcode supposedly. Then it moves your shellcode into the EAX register and it calls it. So basically it's just going to execute your shellcode after it reads it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Everything else, like I said, you only have to read the assembly where it actually matters. So which is in this case the function. So print, give me your shellcode, read it, and then move it into EAX and then call it. So, And it said you only need to use open, read, and write. So that's what we're gonna do. So Q, Q, quit. So open, read, and write. So open would open the, f open the flag file. Read would read the contents, as you know. And write would, um, print the contents. So first we're going to need the open syscall. So we're going to have to move 5 into the EAX register. We're going to need to move a pointer to the file name that we want to read from into EBX. And then we don't need flags and then mode will just put read, which I think is 0. And when we're doing all this we can't have any null bytes in the shellcode because I'm sure you guys know why at this point, because that would terminate our, our shellcode, because uh, null bytes basically aren't allowed in shellcoding. And then next we need the read syscall, so we put 3 into EAX, file descriptor into EBX, and size into EDX, and then write is here for standard output, pointer, character pointer, to where we're uh, reading from in size again. So I already have an exploit here. Um, so we're going to use pwn tools again. So that's that. And then establish the connection to the port and whatever on the that they gave us. We're going to read that welcome message like give me your shellcode, blah, blah, blah. And we're going to make our shellcode with the ASM function. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clear the EEX register by zoring it with itself. We're going to push uh, EAX as a null terminator because what we're going to do is we're going to use the stack to put the path of the file. We're going to put the path to the um, file on the stack and then the when we finished pushing it the extended stack pointer, the ESP, will point to it and then we can pass that as the um, pointer to the file name. I'll explain that again later. So then we're going to clear EBX because we'll need that later. And now we're pushing um, GA or flag reversed in hexadecimal. And you need to push everything in reverse order. So 
and everything needs to be aligned to the size of a word, which is why we need um, three slashes here for the path. So we're pushing home slash ORW slash flag onto the stack in reverse order. You can see I've commented it here. And all you would do is you would take this and encode this into hex. And then we're going to move ESP, which now points to um, the starting address of our file name. We're going to move the address of ESP into EVX, which is the this thing here, pointer to the file name. Then we're going to clear EDX uh, for the mode. And then we're going to make our syscall. So that's the first stage. We've o Now we've opened the flag file. Now to read the contents, we're going to clear EAX again, and we're going to add 3 into EAX. And this is the probably the shortest way to put a value into a register without any null bytes. Um, if you would just do move EAX, comma 3, you would have null bytes. So you can do move AL3, but we're just going to do this method. Now we move EBX into ECX, and if you remember from before, EBX contains a pointer to the file name. And if you look here, into ECX is the point is the character pointer to the buffer to where we read from. So that's um that's going into ECX. Clear EBX now that we're done with it. Move three into EBX, which is the uh, file descriptor. Then we're gonna clear EDX and then we're gonna um, for the size, we're going to do 40 bytes because the flag is not going to be longer than 40 bytes. So we only need to read 40. And then we're going to make our syscall. So we've opened the file, we've read the contents, and now we just need to write them. So you guys should be familiar with the write syscall by now. Uh, we put we need 4 into EAX for the syscall number. Clear EBX for the uh, file descriptor, standard output. We can just increment EVX, so we'll put 1 in it, which will be, oh, I'm sorry, that's the file descriptor. Yeah, and then we're going to make the syscall. And then we're going to send all of this to the server, and I'm gonna, we're going to read the output and print it. So... If you do that, you can see we get the flag, blah, 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 shell coding with open read write. And that's pretty much that. So yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do for the ORW challenge on punnable.tw. Um, I'm trying to do calc right now. It's kind of hard. It's like a step up. It's taking me a long time. But if I do get that done, then I'll make a video on it. I'm also going to do some more stuff on um, basic binary exploitation because I know a lot of you guys uh, really want that. I just don't really like making 101 videos as much, but it's it's fine. And uh, I'll get back into some more pen testing stuff as well. Like maybe we'll do DVWA or something like that or some web web security. So until then, I'll see you guys next time.